it's Tiffany. Welcome to Tiffany Colors. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my completed pages for the month of May. Originally, I had thought I was going to have to wait until the end of June to show you both May and June completed pages, but I actually got a lot of coloring done in May. So I was shocked. As busy as we were with birthdays and baseball and Memorial weekend, I still found time to color and I've been so excited and can't wait to show you what I've been up to. Um, in front of me here is <clears throat> another little haul. Um, I was gifted some more money for my birthday and I instantly went on Amazon and knew exactly what I wanted to buy. So let me move this aside. I'm going to show you some new goodies that just arrived yesterday. So hold on one moment and I'll be right back. Okay, first stop I want to show you is this cute little zippered pencil case. I have seen these on a few um, other YouTube channels. I think mostly art channels where I watch them do like bullet journals and things like that. But yeah, so it stands up on your desk like this and you fill it full of pencils. Let me put these in there. And then you zip it up and you take off and they stand upright. And then when you want to use them, say you're at a coffee shop or the library or wherever you are, and you pull them down. Whoop, they're getting stuck. Then you just pull them right down and then they're like this and they sit on your desk just like that. So it's kind of cute that it's got a little slider mechanism and these two little tabs that you just pull down. Um, super cute. They had a whole bunch of different designs. I went with the little latte one. So I thought that was cute. Love my coffee and my lattes. So, but they had different animals. They had all kinds of different ones you could get. I believe it was like $7 or $7.99 on Amazon. Uh, if I can remember, I'll put the link uh, below in the description for you. Next up, I had to get Josh Dunbar's Island Cuties. Um, so I wanted to buy books that I didn't already have artists in stock. So I haven't bought anything by Josh Dunbar um, before. And I thought this little tiny travel size, does it say travel size? Pocket size. This is pocket size. Um, little coloring book would be perfect. You get a couple of um, samples from his other books and the pages. But I'm sure you've all seen this um, flip throughs on YouTube and Instagram. But I just thought it was cute, quick little summer coloring um, that wouldn't take too long and I could take with me. I go on holiday or go on vacation somewhere but yeah I really am happy to have one of Josh Dunbar's coloring books in my coloring stash next up I already have two other coloring books by Alexander Francis but I could not resist I wanted to try to see what her travel size um, book was like and if you, if I put it against this pocket size, it is a little bit bigger than pocket, but not as big as a regular coloring book, which I thought was really um, a cool idea. I kind of like this size too. Uh, I'm into the smaller coloring books, I feel like lately. And so, yep, this is her Kawaii. I don't really have a whole lot of Kawaii coloring books. Love her art style. Eventually, I would like to own all of her coloring books, non-color by number and color by number. I know she just came out with her Summer Mandala's book. But I was like, oh, I really want to try this pocket size one. So I decided to go with this one. It has a lot of cute little images for different prompts that might be coming up. I really like um, this game my son always does these whenever we go to arcades the claw games he's always good at them too he can always somehow grab one and put it down the chute i don't know how he does it but anyway this one i thought this one had a lot of different um themes here's a dragon in a castle um there's even a little i love this one too this girl drinking her tea 
Um, but they even had a, or if I can find it, they had a Christmas page. Here we go. A Christmas page and a Halloween page. So we've got a couple of holiday pages in there as well. So yeah, super cute. I uh, can't wait to get started coloring in that one. Next up, I had to get me an AJ Cornell uh, by Eclipse art book. I don't really care for the circulism books. So I've been watching flip through videos of their other books. And oh my God, some of their books are absolutely gorgeous. But I happened to see this Atlas book and it's small. Um, again, if I hold it up next to a regular size coloring book, it's like that size. So it is smaller, more square. And um, I think it's about all the different um, around the world places. Each page is a different place in the world. I just wish they would have wrote on here which place it is. Like this one obviously is France because you can see the Eiffel Tower and the baguettes and the whatever you call it, that hat that they wear. Um, so some of them, you like, oh, this one must be Holland. Some of them you can figure out what they are, but some I would, when I was flipping through, I'm like, hmm, I wonder which country this is. So yeah, this will be fun. I'm so excited. Can't wait to get started in this one. Love how the numbers are a little bit less like, um, like in a gray color, as I, sh I should say. I like the nice dark lines in the black borders, but the gray numbers, so they won't show through as much, especially when using alcohol markers. Oh, like see, this one must be Britain or Europe. Yeah. So can't wait to get started in that book as well. Next up, this one just came out. I have no books by Alice Mills Publishing. And again, I don't really care for the like small, like the X method or the small little dots that she has in her books. I've seen some completed pages and I love seeing them completed, but I just don't know. I like the square. Isn't that funny? I like the three by three square books, like the mosaic ones. But for some reason, those other ones just don't appeal to me. Anyway, um, so I decided to go with Buno and Mousy's Kawaii Ventures Color by Number. Um, and I thought this Color by Number palette was so interesting because it's pastel colored. So I can't wait to see um, what the images come out looking like. And if I flip through, you'll notice, um, like, I love the simplicity and the, the circle. Um, it's in a, uh, contained in a circle, so they should be pretty quick and easy. Um, lately, I've been really enjoying the more easy, simpler coloring, um, coloring books versus the really detailed books just not into any that's why I haven't really been coloring in any Joanna Basford's books lately is just because even that seems too detailed for me <laughs> I like these um bigger spaces but not huge spaces and of course I love a border always love having a border on my pages so when I saw a flip through of this oh I was like I've got to have that book that instantly went into my cart <laughs> So, yep, heaven, can't wait again to start um, coloring in this one. Again, lots of different prompts, like there's a bat in, in a cemetery, a house, um, airplane. So there's all kinds of different prompts for, look at this, a honeybee and a rainbow for when we're doing scavenger hunts. Oh, and when I was flipping through, I noticed this page which I thought was cute. We'd love to add cute coral or pink colored cheeks below the eyes to every kawaii face. And then, and you can add shadows if you like. We do them like this in either a gray, blue, or purple. So I thought that was kind of cool how they show you to put in the shadows, like what side to put the shadows in. So yeah, I might end up doing that in these pages. We will see. Okay, and then of course I had to get on the Matchstick Mouse bandwagon because I noticed all of you doing such cute, adorable colorings in these um, Matchstick Mouse books. I had a hard time picking out which one I wanted. They're all so darn cute. Again, I will probably will most likely try to get all the coloring books in the series. 
Um, but this is Springtime Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien. And again, this is a smaller book. Um, this book and this Kawaii Venture book are actually just about the same size. You can see how they're the same. And I kind of like these smaller coloring books. So when I've been seeing them um, on YouTube and flip throughs, I'm like, oh, my, my, my. I've got to get me one of those. <laughs> um, but I'm sure, obviously, again, you guys have seen all kinds of flip throughs of this adorable little book. Look, there's a lamb that would have worked out if I had this book um, in May. But I got it yesterday, June 1st, so, because in Happy Colors prompt, she had one for uh, a sheep. So, yeah, super, super cute. Oh, my gosh. I think that's a little cow, baby cow. Oh, my God, this nighttime scene. Oh, my God, I cannot wait, cannot wait to get coloring in this book. So yeah, that was Matchstick Mouse uh, by Morgan O'Brien. And the last one I picked up was um, Fantasy Girls Color by Number by Sun Life Drawing. And I have some of Kira Shershaniva's other books, but they're all the color by colors. And I wanted to try and see what it was like doing just a color by number. Um, and... I felt like doing this fantasy girls one. It kind of appealed to me. I think it's going to be brightly colored, have some beautiful pages when they're done. Like if there's a mermaid, would have been good for mermaid. Um, but yeah, again, I like the fact that the numbers are really light colored. And I like that there's a border. That's usually what I go for. Nice, thick, dark lines. Yep, can't wait to color in this one either. So that was Color by Numbers for Adults, Fantasy Girls by Sun Life Drawing. Okay, so that's what I got with the rest of my birthday money. I am done spending, all right? You heard it, heard it first. I'm not going to get anything in June, but I can't guarantee you about July. What's going to happen in July? <laughs> all right, next I want to show you a couple of my whips that I've got going on. I love it when you guys show your um, works in progress um, too at the beginning of your completed pages videos. And so I thought I'd show you a couple that I've been working on that I did not get finished. I was trying, but it didn't quite happen. So I am working on this page. This was supposed to be for the prompt sun um, for at Happy Colors Scavenger Hunt for Happy Scavenger May 2023. As you can see, I did not complete it. I did um, outline where I wanted the background to be. I think I'm gonna do like several different shades of blue, not really sure. Um, I started doing some pencil shading, but of course there's still tons of that to do. So yeah, I'm hoping to get this one finished in June. Um, that was out of 50 Vacation Miniatures by Camelia Angel Kova. Okay. And then another one that I was working out of is this one. I'm almost finished with this one. The first page in Mosaic Art Landscapes, Color by Number by Such and Such Deva. And um, this one's looking a little wonky. I actually already scanned this image and did it. You'll see it done on my iPad. Um, but I wanted to test out different media i guess you could say so i tried alcohol markers my um teo tree which are fine tipped but you can see in the black it was starting to bleed over so i was like "Ooh, i don't know if i can use those and then i pulled out my studlitter tri plus fine liner pens and that's what i would have been doing the rest in but i didn't really swatch the pens that gray so i feel like that green is a little too bright and some of these <laughs> browns kind of blend all together like the one and two right there blend together um, but it still was going to look very colorful and nobody would know unless i pointed it out to them but yeah i still got these numbers to finish it's almost done i know i will definitely get it finished um for june and since i already have this book open we're going to flip to the completed page i already did this month 
which is this one. Oops, sorry to bump the camera. Um, and it's, I did this with my, oh my gosh, Bic Intensity Ultra Fines. I don't know why I can never remember that. Uh, but it's two camp tents and a fire going in the middle and then a night sky with a moon. Yeah, this one's really pretty. I love how colorful these turn out when you're all done. They take some time to do, but they're super colorful when they're all done. Um, and I finished this one on May 17th. All right, next up, I worked out of Dessert Mandala's coloring book by Alexander Francis. This was in my coloring haul, and I think I already showed you this completed page, but I'll show you again. Um, I This was for prompt number four, which is banana. I'll take that tag off. Um, I used... Oh boy, what did I use? I think I used my Arteza and my a few Prismacolor pencils. And then I went around the background in a red Ohuhu brush tip marker. And I'm not too sure about the red color. I now wish I'd done like a gray or a black to really make the colors pop. Originally I thought the red would work, but mm, now I'm not so sure. Um, this was fun to color. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the little candies. That was a lot of fun. So yeah, banana splits. That's why I used it for the prompt banana. Um, but I completed that one on May 14th. Next up is out of Fantasy and Fairy Tale Characters Grayscale, Col Grayscale Coloring Book by Christine Karen. And I did this mermaid okay i think she's got to be like one of my favorites this month actually she is she is my favorite and i did her for prompt number three which is mermaid um for happy scavenger may 2023 by happy colors um i did her completely with prismacolor pencils um i did find a reference image on instagram that i will put here um, so you can see, and the reference was the colors. I absolutely love the colors that were in this drawing that someone did. So I kind of picked those colors in my Prismacolor colors. And yeah, really love, absolutely love how this one came out. I really like her hair, for one. Um, and the color of her skin, like, you notice how there's like a little bit of pink? I never would have, almost like a neon pink. I really never would have picked that for skin tone, but I thought, well, let's try it and absolutely love how her skin looks. Almost like it's got a pink glow to it. As well as this jellyfish, talk about glow. I love how he glows um, underwater and how it kind of, I tried to put some on her face so that the glow and down on her arms, like that it would highlight. Um, yep, like the color of the corals um, around the edges. Really love how her body came out, her fins. Um, very, they look like they're glistening. And then of course I took a white jelly roll and kind of put some highlights in there. Um, I like her necklace and her very like, not I wouldn't say simple colors because they're very bright and vibrant, but I didn't go over the top using a ton of different colors. Like her and the jellyfish match. Originally, I think I probably would have done the jellyfish had I not been using that color palette. I probably would have done the jellyfish in some weird funky color and then regretted it. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad that I stuck to these basic, these colors for the whole picture. But yeah, Prismacolors work like a dream on this paper. Really, really love um, how this one came out. And I completed this one on May 21st. Next up, I pulled out my Mystery Mosaics, book number seven by Mindware, because this was also for a prompt. I needed a tree. So this was for prompt number eight, which is tree. And this is a double pager in here. So let me see if I can get it all on screen. So yeah, this was fun to color. This went by actually really quickly, considering they're bigger squares than the Mystery Mosaics landscapes 
um, squares. And um, the sky is actually a very light blue. I can see on camera it's actually picking up, but in real life you almost couldn't even tell that there was a blue sky. So I went around and outlined it um, in a blue water-based pen just so you could see that the difference between the sky and the rest of the images on the paper. But yeah, that was fun to do. So I completed that for May, I completed that on May 24th. Take my little tag off, okay. Next I worked out of Zen Doodle Color by Number Spring Awakening by Deborah Muller. And I did this one for prompt number two, which was sheep. So I didn't really have many books with sheep in them that I hadn't colored already. I mean, I had some books, but they were already colored. So I found this little guy. Oh, and he I tried him out. I think he was the first one I did with my new Artix colored pencils that I had got for my birthday. So yeah, I did the images in the foreground and in colored pencil and then the background is all done in Copic, Copic markers but some of them you can tell are starting to run out which is a bummer but that's okay um, so I completed that one on May 17th okay this is another favorite of mine of the month I happen to just finish this near the end of the month and it's out of uh, Farmer's Market Designs Coloring Book by Marty Noble. I don't usually see this coloring book on too many YouTube channels. Um, I happened to pick this up at Hobby Lobby like two or three years ago, and I have worked out of it a ton. I always turn to this book when it's like spring, summer. I think I'm getting excited about planting um, some vegetables and all the good fruit that is in season this time of year. So I always tend to gravitate to this book. And I chose this page for prompt number 10, Carrot. And yep, I did this all completely with my new Artix colored pencils. They worked really good on this Creative Haven paper. Um, was going for a vintage feel. I did go on to Pinterest and picked a few reference pictures to go by and I'll stick a couple over here um, to show you the reference pictures but especially for this color right here see how it's got like teal pink and then cream I never would have thought to put those colors together but because I went on to Pinterest and there was a vintage uh, poster of though and it used those colors in it I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna try that and I really, really like how this came out. Um, the good thing about those Artex colored pencils is they've got some more. They've got a lot of more muted colors, vibrant colors as well, but also muted. So it's like a good mix of both. Um, so yeah, I was able to do this vintage look very easily with those colored pencils. Um, I don't think there's any white jelly roll. Nope. Just all done, even all the background with um, my Artix colored pencils. And I did not put a date on here, but I know it was the end of May that I ended up completing this. So yeah. Next, I did two pages out of my Color by Colors Pattern Animals by Kira Shershneva. And these were for two of the prompts. One was number five for B, and what did I use? Oh, okay, so I used my Teo Tree um, alcohol markers, and I used some colored pencils. What colored pencils did I use? I might have tried my Artex colored pencils. I didn't put a date on this one either. Um, it was either my Artex or my Arteza. It might have been my Arteza colored pencils, actually. But yeah, I did do a little bit of alcohol marker, and then some of them I went in and colored in pencil, some of the, the little designs. But yeah, he turned out super cute. I like his colors. I like the color range they picked for him. All right, and then I also did this one, prompt number seven for Parrot. And I like the colors this one was done in, too. This one I did completely with... 
think I did this with my Bic Intensity. That's what it was. Bic Intensity Ultra Fines. This whole, because that orange, I couldn't, that was like Tuscan orange or something like that. T yeah, I don't remember, but it's not really an orange. It's more of a brown, but that's all right. Um, so yeah, he's super colorful too. I really like how he came out. Then I happened to work out of my Chibi Girls coloring book, Anime Color by Number by Color Questopia. And I did this girl. Um, I completed her at the beginning of the month before my birthday. So I outlined the, I like the Color Questopia white backgrounds. I know I'm probably crazy, but I actually like going in doing the lines. And I do all the lines with like glitter gel pen. I, hopefully you can see that glitter. Um, and I try to do the outlines in the same color as whatever the number is next to it. So like these, the background was all blue, so I did a blue gel pen. These petals were yellow, so I did yellow. Her hair was pink, I did a pink neon gel pen. And then I go in with um, Ohuhu, I think I used my Ohuhu markers, and I base it all, and then I do a little bit of shading and colored pencil, and I cannot tell you which colored pencils I used. Um, I think it might have been my Arteza colored pencils. But yeah. I completed that one on May 3rd. Then this is a new book that I got for my birthday. You would have seen this in my birthday haul. Um, this is my first book by Emily Chawa, Life in a Jar. This is volume two. And I completed this page of the little girl in the bathtub. I used some alcohol markers. Um, might have been my Teo trees. I think it was my Teo trees. And then I went over it in colored pencil with my new Artex um, colored pencils. And I did pick a color palette for this. Um, don't know where that color palette is now. I don't think I saved it on my phone. If I did, I will put it over here, the color palette that I used. But yeah, I think this came out so cute. I love the little kitty and her bathtub and she's adorable little cheeks. Yeah, um, I really, really love this book. I can't wait to work out of this one again this month. Um, and I completed that on May 21st. Two more books that I colored in. Um, so then this is another new one you would have seen in my completed, um, I mean in my birthday haul. Uh, Love for Collection, Color by Numbers by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. And I think I started this one right in the front. Yes, I did. So these are super fun and easy to do. Um, I like that you don't have to worry about a background. All you have to worry about is the patterns in the middle. And I completed that one on May 20th. That one I also completed on May 20th. But this time I decided to go with more darker colors from my color palette. Um, I didn't necessarily go by with what she has on the back. I kind of did my own, but more, I guess, primary colors, a little mid-tone, whereas this one's a little lighter. And then this one I did in all light tones. So, um, again, I think I used my Teo tree. Yes, I used my Teo tree, I think, in all, of, all three of these. And I completed these all in one day. That's how quick and easy they are on May 20th. And then that will be the next one that I work on. And then I also worked out of Color by Number Gardens by Alexander Francis. This is another new coloring book. And I started in the front. And I completed this one with um, Crayola. These are all done with Crayola colored pencils. I love her color palette that she uses for these color by numbers. I can't wait to see what other color by number books she comes out with. This one she shared on her Instagram. I was so excited when she put this up on her stories. Um, I completed that one May 7th. So I believe this one must have been probably right around my birthday. Because I got this right before my birthday. My birthday's May 6th. So I bet I completed this either the 5th or 6th. This one I completed on the 7th of May. And I used my... Arteza 
um, colored pencils and some Prismacolors to kind of go over and blend a little bit because the Prismacolors are a little softer. But yeah, I really love how that one came out in the colored pencils. And then I did one with my markers, my Ohuhu brush markers and color pencil over it. This one I also completed on May 7th. Um, I think I'll probably be doing this um, from front to back unless I find a prompt I need in one of these um, for a scavenger hunt prompt or something. But for the most part, I'm going to try and color these from front to back. So yeah, so that's the last coloring book I have to show you that I physically colored out of. But now my new thing that I like to show at the end of all my completed pages are the things that I colored on my iPad. So if you've seen some of my other um, completed pages videos in the last few months, um, you'll see that I like to color on my iPad. So, and I scan my um, coloring books with my phone using a scanner app, and then I email it to myself, and then I download the photo onto my iPad and then use it in the app Procreate. If you go on to, if you go into one of my videos on my channel, I have a video all about coloring on my iPad and how I do it. So here's um, Procreate, and this one was the first picture that I completed for the month of May. This was out of this book here, Country Scenes, Color by Number by George Tufexis. And I did this cute um, little, well, he's not little, but it's a cute cow in front of the barn. And I absolutely love how these colors came out. So I like to pick my colors on Procreate and save them in order so I know what number is what. And... Um, I just really, really like how colorful this one came out. Absolutely gorgeous. Really happy with that one. And they go so much faster, especially these more detailed color by numbers. They go so much faster on my iPad. Next up, I did Belle. This was for prompt number one, uh, Happy Scavenger May 2023. And she came out of this book here, the Disney Princess uh by Hatchet Heroes and um, yep again got to pick my colors and color her in it was so much easier really really like how her colors came out I'll try and give you a more close-up look of how she looks but yeah very flawless no worries about spilling anything on it or going over the lines because you can easily just back up um, so much fun um, oh, okay, so here's the one I did out of that new Mystery Mosaics um, by Such and Such Deva, the, the train, the first one. Yep, went super fast in this one as well. Love that. Um, and then this is another one I did out of Country Scenes. And it's these two hummingbirds, and it looks like a little staircase. Again, love the color palette. Love, um, see how you can zoom right in and you can see the numbers really good. That's another reason why I like doing them on my iPad. But yeah, I really like the color palette for this one. Um, this mandala was done out of this book here, Color by Numbers Calm by, this is a David Woodruff. David, their David Woodruff book. This is the only book I have by David Woodruff. I would like his stained glass coloring book. Uh, I almost purchased that with my other um, birthday gift haul things, but I didn't. Maybe next time. So anyway, yeah, so I did this one. Again, you can zoom right in and see the numbers really good and then zoom back out. Um, I completed that one on May 19th. Another one I did out of that same book, I completed that one on May 20th. I wasn't sure if I was going to use that for the prompt B, um, but I ended up, maybe I did. Did I do another one? No, this is for the prompt B. So that's what I, this was for number 5B. I don't think I did. Let me just look. Oh, no, 
I did do it in happy co in the color by colors book. Never mind, never mind. I decided to do that one as the B. But I'd done this one too, just in case I didn't have time to finish that other one. But yep, finished that on May 20th. And then this one is out of my newest book that I got, which is Endless Summer by George Tufexis. Um, I bought this in my birthday haul. And this was my lemonade stand that I did. Again, the, the color palette in this book is really pretty, really bright and summery as it should be. But yeah, so that was the first one I did out of that book. So those are all my May completed pages um, that I did on my iPad. So thank you so much, everyone, for stopping by and seeing all of my completed pages. Um, I can't wait to watch all of your completed pages for this month. Um, hopefully I'll be back with another video soon. If not, I'll see you all next month. Bye-bye. Thank you.